What is going on, guys? Here's part two of the um, Game Use Returns. Um, I actually got another one in the mail today. You wondering who I'm talking to? No? Um, I got another one in the mail today. Um, so, actually, perfect timing. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> um... Got another one in the day for today, so uh, perfect timing. Uh, we'll get right into this, so I'm not here all night long with you guys and gals. Um, first one, um, if you watch Hard Knocks, um, you definitely seen this guy. They followed this player around for a little bit. Um, it's not Charles James the Third. Um, that guy's kind of on my wish list, man. I really would love to get something from that dude and a pair of like his funky, crazy socks. If you know the show or you follow him at all you know definitely what I'm talking about that dude's sock game is really strong that dude collects socks like some athletes or celebrities collect cars or what have you um, but I'm talking about Kamari Lee um, the Texans ended up trading him to the um, Browns at the right before the beginning of the season and it was right at the end of the hard knocks um, he's a tight end uh, he was the guy for the rookie talent show he got up in front of everybody and was making fun of, um, and was making fun of uh, Coach Bill O'Brien. So here's the package. Open or excuse me, not open. So hopefully um, this thing goes great in one take, unlike uh, yesterday. And hopefully none of these gloves smell as bad as the Chandler Jones ones. Um, before I get into this. Um, thanks for all the comments and the, and the likes and, and all that. I've really been enjoying reading all the comments down below. Um, it was awesome and they were uh, actually really funny. Um, so that's why we make these videos, man, is to get feedback and, and all that stuff. So it was great and I appreciate it. So thank you. And oh, sweet Jesus, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, first, a pair of... The salute to service gloves, and he signed. It looks like he signed both of these right down there. And this one, oh, these are used. I didn't think they were used. <laughs> these are freaking pretty damn sweet. And uh, right there, you could tell. Um, a lot of times these gloves, because of the material or the rubber that they're made of, they're really um pretty strong so they don't really um, wear very easily but a lot of times down here this is going to sound kind of gross um, that I even know this but I've been collecting game used equipment for many many moons um, down here on most gloves baseball and football this is just a material um, and when players or human beings sweat and then it dries a lot of dirt and, and dust will you'll have that jaggedy um, sweat line. And so I doubt you can see it here, or even if you want to see it, um, but these are used and I didn't think they were when I pulled them out of the package. So that's awesome. So there's the first set. And there's actually more goodness in here. God dang, he hooked it up. Looks like there's a photo. So there's a high gloss photo he signed, Kamari Lee, and he wrote, thank you for your service and have a blessed holiday season on the back. So that is freaking awesome. Um, hang on, give me, what are you on that? And we'll go ahead and get to this other pair. Um, for my bear collector, um, my God, I can never remember his man. The, the Jim McMahon Super Collector. Um, what is it? Bears Bears 9 McMahon? Something like that. You know who you are, buddy. Um, you will probably be jealous of these bad boys. So here's the front. <laughs> there's the back. These things are pretty dope, man. Uh, I'm far, far from a Bears Collector. Um, but these are freaking pretty sweet. Um, I don't think they're cooler than the uh, salute to service gloves, 
Um, but that's just me. And then he signed both of these. Come on, come on, come on. I know you want to focus. Maybe you don't. You don't want to focus. Um, he signed both of these. And I rarely, rarely, rarely do this. Um, but since I did get two pair, um, I would be willing to trade um, the Bears. Ah, ah, ah. No, no, no. I would be willing to trade the Bears pair um, for something for my Texans PC. Um, if you want, great. If not, that's fine too. Um, but these, the salute to service ones, are 100% not for sale for trade. Um, and actually, the Bears ones wouldn't be either, except he sent two. Um, so I'm not a guy that hoards everything that I get. If I can share the wealth, um, I share the wealth. Um, next package coming from um, a Cowboys starting center. Hey, um, Travis, Fred uh, Travis Frederick. Um, I said to him, I know he's a center, and, and I always do Texans or I do linebackers. That's kind of my thing that I like to do. Um, I don't know. I just got – my wife is a big Cowboys fan, so we always watch the Cowboys games. And don't blame her for being a Cowboys fan, guys. It's not her fault. You know, some people are just slower than others. Um, baby, I hope you don't watch this video. <laughs> um, so I see this dude play almost on a weekly basis. Um, and I just like his play. And the commentators have nothing but great things to say about this dude. Um, so I thought I'd give him a shot. And let's see what's in here. Let's see, let's see. Awesome. Um, a lot of times, well, not a lot of times, all this stuff that I get one day um, will go to my kids. Um, you can't take it with you to the grave, and I'm not the type to normally sell my stuff unless my family's in a financial pinch or something, um, which has happened. Um, but I don't sell it just to sell it or and flip it for something else. Um, so he wrote this, and he wrote, Thank you for your letter um, and your personalized photo that you sent me. Um, it is very cool. I appreciate your support and I can't thank you enough for what you do and what you have done for our country. You allow me to play a game. Um, oh, you allow me to play a game for a living and I hope um, these gloves can help make your son's Christmas extra special. Um, stay safe and thanks again. Travis Frederick. Man, very nice. Um, I'll probably end up getting these framed next to this letter. I love the when the players send a note, man. That's freaking awesome. And these gloves are not used, but that is fine. Um, it looked like he signed this. It's uh, Garrett, go Cowboys. Travis, Travis Frederick. No, I take this back. These are used. Yep. The same old nasty... Nasty ass sweatband is on the bottom, but you can barely see it. Um, so there's the autograph, and then this one I think these are called the Nike Viper gloves. I think that's what these are called. Um, these are extremely popular in the uh, NFL right now. This uh, model, so this is very, very cool. My wife didn't know that these came in. So, um, she's one of those Cowboys fans that, that says she's a big, big fan, but can name about two players on the team, uh, Jason Witten and Tony Romo. So, she probably wouldn't even know this dude was anyways. But I know, and I know he's a badass, so um, that's all that matters. Hey, don't be taking stuff off the tree. Um, these came in today in 32 days. Um, this is the... Um, Cleveland Browns um, starting outside linebacker Paul Kruger. Um, he was on the Baltimore Ravens um, Super Bowl team when they beat the um, 49ers in the Super Bowl where the lights went out and all that jazz. Um, 
you know, Bill Belichick probably had something to do with those damn lights going out. I know the Patriots weren't in the Super Bowl, but everyone likes to blame the uh, Patriots for every damn thing. So, Everett, I'm pretty sure that damn Bill Belichick and Tom Brady made those lights go out. <laughs> um, so we'll get into that. This package feels very weird. Um, normally the gloves, the gloves packages are very kind of um, bulky. Because um, after you wear a, a set of these gloves, they kind of stay um, in the form of your hand as far as the thickness. They normally don't relax back to like the manufacturer size, if you will. <laughs> Another pair of the Viper gloves. Um... Dang, these are pretty sweet. Um, nothing fancy. You know, just the normal gloves, but these things are pounded. Um, he signed them big across the the palm. Paul Kruger, the 99. And, man, this is – I really like these. These are awesome. Um, I really think this dude's kind of underrated. You definitely heard his name a whole lot more when he was with the Ravens. And now that he's with the Browns, all you hear is one of two things. Either Johnny Manziel and what an F up he is, or how shitty the Browns are. That's about all you hear. Um, and they really do have some pretty damn good individual players. But as a team, man, they're just terrible. Um, and I think he's one of the bright spots on that team for sure. Um, I just wish he was on a better team where he'd get more recognition. Um, but yeah, these Paul Kruger gloves are pretty nice. And next, um, this is sweet. This is the last one. Let's see here. Um, I don't want to show that address on the old camera. It uh, looks like a personal address. Um, next, coming in from um, Jacksonville, Florida. Let me see these. Just real quick here. Um, Paul Pesluzny. He is the... Um, Jaguars starting middle linebacker. This dude's a freaking stud, man. And this guy, I know he used to be on the Bills, but he's another guy I think is extremely underrated. Um, he doesn't get a whole lot of recognition. And, just, you know, this is just my opinion. Um, he was a Dick Buckus or the Buckus Award winner in college when he was with Penn State. Um, that award's given out to the best linebacker of that collegiate year. Um, 2013 Pro Bowler. Um, and really just an all-around badass. So when you're a kid, or excuse me, when you have as many kids as I have, you don't have shingers. You have safety scissors. So shing. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I don't even know if my little shinger is going to work. This might be brutal. There we are. Woo! Ah! Man, oh man, would you looky looky? Would you looky looky? Cletus has a cookie. Um, let's get to let's get to getting here. Oh wow, these things are fucking awesome. Um, pardon my language. Um, damn, these are really really nice. Um, yeah, there's no doubt about that. These are um. I don't like to get my nose too close to the danger zone. You know, I don't want to get your nose too close to the tailpipe. Um, these are definitely used. There's half a, half a football field on here. And signed beautifully. <laughs> that is awesome, man. Oh, my God, that's awesome. So that's one. Man, the other one is just... A mirror image of what size of these suckers size 14 um, here's the other one same thing got a football field on the bottom of them there's so much crap and and grass and mud and all that other goodness on the gridiron signed it beautifully and man this kind of the only shitty part is 
the autograph actually shows up better on camera than it does in person. Um, and that's why I'm keeping it here because I like looking at it. Um, that's awesome, man. These things are freaking sweet. Ah, I love it. Um, let's see. Let's see. God dang. It doesn't stop, boys. Um, he sent a pair of gloves as well. And he signed these kind of in a really weird spot, man. Um, he signed it right across all, you can't even really tell. Um, but this material here, it's, it's different textures and different, um, you know, it goes from a hard plastic to a material to a real flexible, flimsy plastic. And you sign across there and you really can't tell. Um, but nonetheless, these are freaking awesome. And another pair, which he signed in the same spot, but these showed up a little better. For the um, breast cancer awareness, the old pink number. <laughs> these are sweet, man. This is my first pair of uh, pink gloves. I have a pair of um, pink uh, Glover Quinn plates that I bought from an NFL auction. But as far as gloves, this is the first ones I've ever had. These are nice, and these things are hammered also. Um, inside seam is, I don't know if you can see that, but it's torn and ripped on the inside. And The good news is, boys, we made it through all of this, and I didn't get one funky-ass smell. Um, same with these right here. They're freaking ripped to, sh to shit, meaning they've been used. Yeah! Man, now that's a package, my friends. Um, I got a note that is closed up. Yeah, I know. I feel the same way. Yep, absolutely. Um, oh, wow. This is cool. Um, Please let me know if you have any, if you have the, oh, utmost respect. I have the utmost respect for you and for what you do. If I can ever do anything for you, please do not hesitate to con contact me. Um, thanks again, respectfully, Paul P. And then he signed his email, which I will not show. Um, but I will show that bottom part so you can see that there was an email there. Um, <laughs> dude, that's dope, man. That's what's up. Uh, this is my second, no, third um, email that I've gotten from a player. The other one was um, Shane Graham, um, ex-kicker of the Texans. And then the other one is um, Jared Crick. Um, badass on the Texans right now. Um, so, man, I, I might actually email him. Jacksonville is, I believe, about three, four hours from here. So that would be really freaking sweet if I could uh, meet up with uh, with that dude. You know, I don't know. Who, who knows? Um, but it's really, really nice that he, you know, cares enough or trusts enough in me or his service servicemen and women of this nation to uh, give out his personal email address. Um, that's, hey, chill out. Um, so that's pretty awesome. So that's it. I held all my game use stuff for one month for you guys. Um, today is the 14th, so it was exactly one month to today. I didn't realize that. Um, I appreciate, man, all the comments, all of the, um, all of the comments leading up to it, asking when the heck was I going to make these videos um, greatly appreciated make me feel loved um, made me feel like you guys really um, you know care about my videos and about me and all that stuff and greatly appreciated um, I could tell you unless something crazy comes in the mail this will be my last video for probably a couple weeks um, so with that being said you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and all that jazz and you know, 
Man, eat whatever the hell you want. You know what I mean? Seems like everyone's on a damn diet these days, including myself. And I'm always watching what I'm eating because it's for the gym and all that bullshit. But I think this year I'm going to let my hair down. I'll let this, this little thing down. And I'm going to eat whatever the hell I want for as many days as I want for Christmas and enjoy myself. Um, last year I was on the damn USS Carl Vinson in the middle of the Persian Gulf. And we took a break from dropping warheads on foreheads for about 26 hours to um, celebrate Christmas and um, celebrate Jesus Christ's birthday. And so this year, it's going to be nice, man, to be home with the family and all that. So I know I'm going to let my hair down and have a damn good time with my family in Texas. Um, I hope you guys have a good time with your family or wherever you're at and whatever you do. Um, so with that being said, thanks for watching as always, guys. Peace out. Adios.